Welcome to Conglomerate from LearnBiz. This is an interactive online simulation game. This game requires you to build business empire across industries as the economy grows. Throughout the simulation, you will be required to take strategic decisions. You will have to take decisions with regard to industries vertically or horizontally to achieve the benefits from learning curve or accrue synergy benefits or diversify into a completely different industry to stave off competitive pressures. The mechanics of playing the game are very simple. The firms in the game start with seed capital. Over a period of time, firms invest across different industries to build a business empire. The firms take decisions of pricing, advertising and capacity management for various industries along with firm-wide decisions which are related to customer service, quality management, HR policies, CSR and working capital management, green energy. The firms can raise loans until they breach debt ratio limit. The firms are measured using share price which is calculated using a mix of debt ratio, revenue growth and net profit margin. Game Decisions Conglomerate has two decision screens, one for launching a new industry and another for managing the conglomerate. The industries page shows details of various industries, their setup cost, capacity units, market price of a unit, cost price of a unit, maturity period of the industry, total demand and supply, and number of competitors. For each industry that you launch, a business unit is created instantly on headquarters page which serves to manage the product. Before deciding on launching an industry, you would do well to think about the following questions. The intensity of the competition. Current and expected supply levels with regard to the demand levels. Maturity period as product life cycle has a definitive impact on pricing and profitability. The potential to achieve dominant market share in the industry so as to influence pricing. Ability to build capacity so as to achieve cost reductions through economies of sale. Ability to achieve cost synergy with existing industries in the conglomerate's fold. Keep in mind a strategic plan while investing how much financing do you need and how much is available to you at any point of time. The headquarters page shows details of economic shocks, conglomerate's headline numbers, panel for taking central policy decisions for the conglomerate and panel for taking independent decisions for industries in the conglomerate's fold. The economy may witness a shock from time to time. Shock details and impact would be displayed at the top of the page. Following the description of shocks, you would be able to see headline numbers of your conglomerate at the end of recent period. Debt ratio this indicates the level of debt as a proportion of conglomerate's assets. In the simulation, a conglomerate is not allowed to go beyond a debt level of 60%. The value is highlighted in green, yellow or red color. Sales growth. This indicates the change of sales over the preceding month. The value is highlighted in green, yellow or red color. Net profit margin. This indicates level of profit over sales. The value is highlighted in green, yellow or red color. Investment budget. 
This indicates the maximum investable money available with you. That is assuming you have reached your debt ratio limit of 60%. Share price. This is calculated depending upon levels of debt ratio, sales growth and net profit margin. It is the measure which decides winner of the simulation. Following the headline numbers of your conglomerate, you see a panel for making strategic decisions for the conglomerate as a whole. Customer service. Higher levels of customer service is expensive but it enables you to charge higher prices for the service as well. Quality policy. Higher levels of quality is expensive, but it increases productivity as instances of defective produce lessens. Training. Higher levels of training is expensive, but it increases labor productivity as well. Pay policy. Higher levels of pay is expensive, principally in form of cost, but it increases productivity as labor feels motivated if compensated adequately. Renewable energy policy and water recycling policy. Focus on green energy and CSR activities has associated costs and benefits. Over a longer term, benefits are expected to outweigh the cost. Receivable policy. Extending a credit period to customers increase sales, but at the same time you could face payment defaults and loss of interest income. Payable policy. Asking for a credit period from vendors increases material cost, but at the same time you could generate interest income. Lastly, you see a panel for making micro decisions for each industry in conglomerates fold. Upsize. You can expand production capacity of an industry using the button. You can upsize provided you have sufficient investment budget. Upsizing would increase supply in the market, reduce maturity and reduce production cost. Relaunch. The relaunch process increases demand and reduces maturity as new brands and machinery make the product perform better, almost like new in eyes of customers. Downsize. When supply level exceeds 100%, you may choose to reduce production capacity. Downsizing would decrease supply in the market and increase production cost. Production level. Instead of choosing to downsize, you may choose to reduce production level. A production level of 80% would produce 20% less material when compared with production level of 100%. Price. Setting a sale price is a tricky affair. You would charge higher if you are providing greater levels of service, quality or credit period to the customers. Advertising. Spending money on advertising is helpful in increasing sales. Game screens. Income statement helps you in analyzing output of your decisions taken in the previous period. Balance sheet helps you in keeping track of your company's solvency and consequently the ability to take up loan and invest into capacity building. Cash flow statement. This helps you in analyzing actual cash flows. It's extremely important to maintain minimum cash level with the company. Industry graphs. Various graphs showing total demand, supply, supply demand ratio, Maturity and setup cost of all industries can be seen. Comparison graphs. Various graphs comparing share price, debt ratio, sales growth, net profit margin, sales or profits with a peer over a period can be generated for purview. Standings. The page will display all the conglomerates in descending order of share price. Now let's start playing the game from our next video. Thank you.